stop it. about it, Sato. That's fine. People, people know people enough. Try to stop teach. trying to make Mahjong a thing. I made Mahjong a thing. <laughs> For like three people. I love yes. the expression on its face, actually. Yeah. It's just like, you know, It's fun. looking yeah. at its fellow ferrets like, what the hell is wrong with you? Just, He's just like, guys, just it's okay. It. Guys, play dead. Me. We're dead. Yeah. Play dead. Can it's do. lotion on so its skin or it gets a hose again. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and it is very, very certainly getting the hose. <laughs> Almost certainly. <laughs> right, let's um, adjust all well, the edges. Possibly it's just uh, going back to the Black Books cleaner. Dirty. <laughs> Dirty, dirty boy, so fairy, dirty, 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 dirty little fairy. Hara 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 hara. Hara 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 hara. Are you playing mahjong with the computers? No, I'm playing mahjong with people on the internet. Mahjong. And not just any people on the internet. People he doesn't actually have to ever talk to again. Exactly. <laughs> and most of them don't speak my language anyway. Probably. Well, well at least, well, at least no. two of them are names in kanji, in kanji characters, so... They, they almost certainly will speak English, just not well. Because I've discovered that an awful lot of Japanese English? speak ish English. English. It's the taught English. language that's, over there, that's, so... That's, that's called English. In English. 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 English, oh, English. Oh, There's actually, actually an entire genre of music de de dedicated to English. Wonderful. Well, they do it a lot, actually. I've noticed. Like watching Initial D, there's 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 hmm. there's, there's, various, the there's a lot tracks. of crossovers. Yeah, there's one of the music tracks where they shove English into it randomly in verses. That's just uh, a thing when, you, to do with Japanese. Yeah, music but back. when you listen to what they say, it doesn't make sense. No, sure, but it sounds cool and it does fit the. <laughs> It sounds cool to them, yeah, but exactly. as an English speaker, That's we listen to it and go, wait, what? <laughs> exactly. You did what with the who now? Exactly. <laughs> you stuck what in where? Oh, exactly. I, I, in fact, the one I will never forget is the random picture that was on the internet of some <laughs> random girl that this guy had he'd been like visiting Japan. Found this girl just casually sort of sat in a, a restaurant or cafe or something. Uh, with this t-shirt on in all instances because she had no idea what it said just like we have all sorts of fucking random characters and things on shirts over here they obviously have them in English yeah. and hers said exposing the beaver <laughs> <laughs> not a fucking what? clue what it meant what did it say? exposing the beaver <laughs> <laughs> clearly the best not a fucking clue just a perfectly innocent, like, 20-something-year-old girl, you know, <laughs> exposing the beaver. Uh, if you like, my dear, yes, go ahead. <laughs> I shall not complain. Um. <laughs> no fucks will be given, or possibly many fucks will be given. Go Depending. Ahead. <laughs> yes. All depends what I see when I see your beaver. <laughs> I saw a movie once where someone got a tattoo in Japanese or Chinese, hmm. and... They finally uh, met somebody who read Japanese or Chinese, and they informed them that it read soy sauce. <laughs> awesome soy sauce. There is no nice, worse. I know someone who's got soup on their arm. This. <laughs> soup. soup. Why wouldn't you have soup on your arm? Soup. Soup. Where's my soup. When asked, why didn't you get soup on your arm? Well, the character looked pretty. <laughs> Well, that's it, isn't it? They do yeah. the same thing. They do it because they think it looks cool. They haven't a clue what it means. <laughs> <clears throat> Which is, of course, a source of great hilarity to any Western tourist who calls a fucking fat and look at these random things written and just go... <laughs> well, it's the same when they come over here and they exactly. say Japanese or Chinese. Yeah, I'm, sure they, I'm sure they do the same, but it, it, yeah, it's... There's probably some Japanese girl going around with bigger black cock written on her arm. And surprisingly, she always wins. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Except for what was it? What card did you use that one? Oh, we actually lost a couple of times in that game, but there were quite a lot of uh, cards. A sausage festival. Yeah. <laughs> it's understandable if it's a black sausage festival. Not first. <laughs> <laughs> in, in which is hidden yes, and suddenly a picture of the Madonna, Madonna. Uh, the fallen Madonna with the boobies by Van Klump. <laughs> a spotted dick festival. Well, 
Well, a, 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 a bigger blacker dick would actually be ter terrifying to the Asians. Very, yes, <laughs> very, very certain. <laughs> the Spotted Dick Festival would probably be taking part in some health clinic in a hospital, I'd imagine. <laughs> Actually, some of the Japanese health rules are a bit funny. Technically, if I walked into a, some Japanese restaurants under the laws or rules they were bringing in, um, they would actually be forced to give me a pamphlet telling me to go and seek um, help because my waist is too big. <laughs> Because they, they set the limit at something like 36 inches. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. They would be forced to do that. And I haven't had a 36 inch waist. Well, I, I had a 36 inch waist when I was 11. Yeah, probably <laughs> me too. <laughs> no, I, I did lose a lot of weight when I was like 16 and I had a 28 inch waist. But that was like starving myself to death. Yeah. Um, and then it just went straight. So No, it was 32 inch. A 32 inch was too big. Anything over 32 inch was too big. Too big. Too big. So big. But they, they, they do see Westerns like that. But everyone <laughs> I, in Japan or China is four feet tall. Well, they're not, obviously. That's just silliness. But the averages are significantly larger in the West. Um, but they also have some of the hugest people. They do. But they're very rare. But they they they, 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 they must have to the Westerners them. can't be noteworthy enough to the Japanese to draw a crowd in some cases. <laughs> um, you know, six foot something tall people who have sort of red or blonde hmm. or something unusual as a hair color, uh, and things like that. It's like to the Japanese, it's like look at the weird freak. <laughs> <laughs> If I They're so big and white and weird hair, and they keep drinking sake without falling down. <laughs> they probably have an ambulance operator cuff me and drag me away. An ambulance. <laughs> no, ambulance. Ambulance. Unless you're German. Krankenwagen! <laughs> Indeed. Sound big on your cheek? Everything yeah. sounds violent in German. Well, it's true, though, isn't it? You, it you is true. European languages like ambulance, ambulantia, ambulance. And then, of course, you get a German, which is Krankenwagen. <laughs> <laughs> Science. Like yeah, it's here. Science. I'm trying to remember what uh, butterfly is in German. It's butterfly in French, like papillon, and then in German, oh, what is it? Um, I'm trying to remember. <sighs> it just sounds so violent and angry for such a beautiful <laughs> thing. <laughs> uh, Schmetter Schmetterling. <laughs> Schmetterling. <laughs> I always liked the German for nipple, actually. <laughs> Could you even remotely guess what nipple yeah. is in German? I know what it is in Italian. In German. Go on. Nipple. It is, it is it's not nipple. Is it nipple? Uh, there is a word. Uh, you can say nipple, but it's slang. Uh, is it nipple? Purple nipple. Purple nipple. No. Purple <laughs> <nerple>. <laughs> no. <laughs> Titty twister. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a no. Brustwarze, which translates literally as breast wart. <laughs> <laughs> I would that? like to nibble on your breast wart. Huzzah! Brustwarzen. <laughs> I've just pinched a breast wart. Sally, hey, old chap, I've got a good grasp on this breast wart here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tweak your mouth once. <laughs> Come in Moscow. Hello, Moscow. <laughs> just let me tweak them with earmuffs. <laughs> this is Nighthawk calling Moscow. <laughs> Are you receiving me? No! No. No, too busy with my hands on this breast wart. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's the rest terribly warm. <laughs> if you tweak the breast wart a bit more, I'm sure it'll loaden up soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> if Kuro wasn't scared away by the cards, he's been scared away by the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love, you're gonna have to lift up your shirt. Seems like you've got a terrible case of breast warts. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Zelia 
has a cream for that, right? <laughs> you gotta use that on your next date, aren't you? Uh, uh, I could be very dirty in, in some people's minds. You should have it as your ringtone. If, if you want to go ridiculous with them, do you know what the literal translation of the word for um, vagina is? Well, they, they say shider, but the literal translation is sheath or scabbard. <laughs> oh, excuse me, dear, I need a scabbard for my sword. <laughs> I can't seem to get it in the bloody scabbard. <laughs> you need your butter knife? Need a scabbard for your butter knife? I say, this sword is much too big for this scabbard. <laughs> the scabbard is much too big for the sword. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's not a good thing, so It keeps oh, slipping out of the scabbard! Anyway. <laughs> the scabbard's so bloody loose! <laughs> oh boy. Indeed. How can you tell it's 1.30 in the morning? <laughs> I'm playing Marjoram, That's how you can tell. I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm... To ignore. No, I'm just playing Marjoram in the background. I'm not breathing because I'm not doing particularly well at all. I blame distraction, but honestly, you know, I'm not playing that well at all. Aww. Actually, talking a drink, I shall be back in a moment. This drink. bottle is empty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suggest you return it and demand a full one. Yes, all indeed. Right. I shall go and get the next one. <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> Cock's away. Cheerio and soy milk. Soy milk? Cheerio Especially the soy milk. Oh, oh vegans. Oh, okay. I tried soy milk, I didn't like it. I don't think I like soy milk, but I can't remember if I've even had it. I, I've definitely... I don't hate it. It's not like I'm just like... But it's just like, why would you bother? Milk's nicer. Yeah. If you're not, like, allergic to it, milk's nicer. Yeah. I also recently found out that milk is nowhere near as healthy as it's made out to be. Not really. It's, not. it's really quite bad for you in large quantities. And it also does absolutely nothing to your bones. Nothing at all. It does contain calcium, but frankly, it contains calcium. But quite a lot of other things effect. contain calcium, really. Yeah, you, you could get it. Yeah. Water does. <laughs> yeah, but they've, they've, they've found that despite having a large amount of calcium, people would both they, they tested like a thousand people who had their well, there's, calcium. There's a limit to the amount you can absorb. Yeah, yeah that's they, the they, problem. It, it, yeah. You just can't get it out of the food anyway, so it doesn't matter. You're just gonna have to keep a it's balanced diet. It's the same issue with vitamin tablets calcium. in a lot of ways. I mean, it would be a really sad life if I couldn't eat unlimited amounts of ice cream. You're saying you can't? If I couldn't. Hmm. It would be really sad if I had to limit my calcium intake. Ice cream. Again, who's suggesting you can't? <laughs> Silent whispering. <laughs> well, if you could only have so much calcium... No, you, you, it you, then you no, it's not going to kill you. You just can't. Your body can't absorb it. Yeah, it just passes straight through. Is the point? I will always win in a fight, Mara. <laughs> Silence! I kill you. How do you spell that? Ah. <laughs> yeah. If you ever, if you ever meet a scouser, if you ever meet a scouser, the word you want them to pronounce is chicken. Chicken. Very well. Chicken. No, the word the word to ask his character to say is work, just to watch them freak out. Work. 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 They can't. Work in the morning. It's the, it's not that they can't say the word in terms of physically being unable to say the word. It's just the fright of the concept. Fright of the concept. chicken and vine. Chicken. No, it's it's, it's more like uh, chicken. Purple, purple but with a chicken in it. That's, uh... Chicken. Chicken and a vine. What? No. <laughs> That's Jokistani's, that one, isn't it? Purple <laughs> burglar <Jokistani's>. arms. <laughs> hey. Leslie what? Nielsen, Dracula Den Lemonhead. He's eating chicken. Or chi chicken. Couldn't be, worse, couldn't be worse than a kid in my German class when they were supposed to do the speaking test and they have to do the stupid role play thing and they're supposed to be in a restaurant ordering food and you just get these pictures to tell you what you're supposed to say and you're supposed to come up with the German appropriately. Mm -hmm. So the picture is like a roast chicken to be. 
so the kid sits down, the teacher's there, and they say, Can I heal and help him? Can I help you? Kid says, Yeah. Ich, für, uh, ich möchte Hunt mit Pommes. <laughs> yes, I would like dog and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher goes, Nein, wir, wir haben das nicht. No, we don't have that. Kid goes, Dear eyes in the headlights. Ich möchte Hunt mit Pommes. And the teacher's like, uh, you know, wir nisten dein wit meals um, are strong. But not a bit of a and you can't own a dog and chips. Ich möchte Hunt mit Pommes. And that was that all, the whole fucking speaking test evolved into the teacher trying to explain it's not dog and chips. But <laughs> to be fair, that does meet the brief. <laughs> Not in the intended way, but that did meet the brief. Oh, yeah. Because the board specifically oh. said chicken and chips. Oh, I thought it was just. Oh, right. they, they show You have to order what they show on the picture, and the picture was chicken and chips. But they just confused hunt with <laughs> ancient, which is the correct word for chicken. I remember in my German oral exam, I, um, I completely froze, so I just. Said, ich bin ein Kartoffelkopf. <laughs> I have a potato head. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least they didn't go for JFK's infamous Ich bin ein Berliner. Yes. I have a donut. Donut, that's what? it, yes. I have a donut. I am a donut. Because <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to say, I am a person of Berlin. Yes. Uh, but he, what, so he figured that you'd say, I am a Berliner. I am of Berlin, I'm a Berliner. So he translated it, Ich bin ein Berliner. But a Berliner was a kind of donut. <laughs> <laughs> like a hamburger, it's called a hamburger, not because it's made of ham, but because it's from Hamburg. <laughs> That's funny. Well, it's called beef burgers, so they know there's no ham in it. <laughs> and it's called a Wiener, because it's from Wien. <laughs> Wiener. Trust the Germans to have invented sausages. They're extremely good at sausages. <laughs> they have a dazzling selection of commonly available sausages. Knockwurst. Knockwurst, yes. yes. Uh, Let's sweep knackwurst. all the bits up that are left Body over first, everything else. Knockwurst, bockwurst. Testing. The worst worst. What's, what's the first that could happen? Uh, yeah, no, taxi. <laughs> taxi! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Try the dog. <laughs> Try the dog. Dog and chips. <laughs> Have a special one, cat soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Whatever you do, don't try the fish. <laughs> oh, they were special. Down the fish. <laughs> oh, actually, the best, the the best part of my learning German was the textbook. Topic of excuses. <laughs> excuses. And it had a few topical examples. Mm -hmm. And one of them was um, Ich kann nicht mit dir ausgehen, weil ich muss streichen das Klo. I can't go out with you because I have to paint the toilet. <laughs> It wasn't even. Hair. I have to wash my hair. I have to paint the toilets. <laughs> and when I told that to a German, even they found it funny because they got the fucking euphemism of paint the toilets. <laughs> I was going to say, I, they, I they were like, what's the problem? Explosive diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> I've made some very poor dating decisions after painting the toilet in a, uh, in a nightclub, but. Uh... <laughs> Talking to God on the big white telephone, eh? Yes, that's the one. <laughs> Driving the porcelain truck. <laughs> <laughs> Calling for Huey. Huey and Ralph. And Ralph, yeah. <laughs> Technical <laughs> yawns. <laughs> oh, special. Ah, good times. Why <laughs> oh, are you having fond memories, suddenly, Shadow? <laughs> And there's always carrot. Even if you never eat it, there's always carrot. Or tomato skins. Hmm. Mm. And I don't eat tomato. I'm, I 
that makes me throw up. <laughs> Clearly, somebody was smuggling tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Just smuggling tomatoes and stuff. It's only a, it's only raw fresh tomato that does it, but I mean I, I don't know why, but it's it's just a thing that I've had since I was a kid. I, I don't particularly like the taste of fresh tomato anyway, so. And yet I, I like, like tomato fun. soup or ketchup or a whole host of tomato-based products. I just don't like fresh tomato because I'm strange. I don't well, you'd have to be in this conversation. Almost certainly. But yeah, you really think I would associate with these people if I was normal? <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as normal. <laughs> exactly. However, we Especially are here. particularly fine examples of this. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not abnormality, it's British eccentricity. Keep telling yourself that and they'll keep you out in the straight jacket for a bit longer. That's, that was the plan. That was the plan. <laughs> he planned it. And this plan wasn't necessarily bollocks. <laughs> Quick, fetch me two pencils and a pair of underpants. <laughs> what is your name, Wibble? <laughs> What's two plus two? Ah, Wibble. Wibble, Wibble. Can they be edible underpants? Where do you live, London? Hey, <laughs> a small village inside the capital city of Mars. <laughs> Wibble. Wibble. <laughs> <laughs> Ping, ping, my old man's a dustman. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just off to Hartlepool to buy some exploding trousers. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom. My goodness, sir, how did you guess? I'm sorry, I think I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> oh, dear. So what the classics think? will never die. So what did you think of it, sir? Well, the beginning was awful. It tailed off a bit towards the middle. And the less said about the ending, the better. But other than that... <laughs> it was generally uncomfortable. I, I think he actually has other than that excellent... Are we talking about the giant black cock again? <laughs> Apparently not. We're killing Dylan. <laughs> oh, is he dying? Bless him. <laughs> According to this map here, sir, it says mine. It must have been the map maker's field. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I must say, Blackadder, this 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 intelligence is very strange. Uh, well, yes, there might have been a few more Ardenance factories and a few less pink elephants, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is how much land we've taken in the last six months. What's the scale? One to one. one, to one. <laughs> <laughs> so the actual amount of retaken land is this. <laughs> About three feet, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was precious. That's always. Oh, amazing. and fucking oh, God, no, my mind's just and <laughs> melt it. Practicing his speech for Georgina oh, yes. on, on Captain Darling. <laughs> Darling, I want to cover you in pepper and sneeze all over you. <laughs> <laughs> I must protest, sir. <laughs> What's the matter with you, darling? Uh, Captain uh, Darling. Oh dear. <laughs> he was really worried that tick wasn't ever going to go away. <laughs> I'm as English as the Queen. So. So your father was German, you married a German, and you're half German? <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Have you seen any suspicious characters around here? Nine. 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 <laughs> Nine. Well, the captain has got his work cut out for him. <laughs> <laughs> the spy was none other than Nurse Fletcher Brown, or should I say, Nurse Fletcher Brown. <laughs> when I mentioned the great universities, Oxford, Cambridge, Hull, <laughs> you failed to notice that only two of them were great universities. Yep, yes, Oxford is Cambridge a complete dump. Is a complete dump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. hey, yo. Hey, 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 yo. Let's go back. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Sweet, how'd it go? Yeah.
gum? Oh, uh, it was oh. a very close game, but I lost. Oh. Four Cold three. Rages. Yeah. The final three turns were pretty much. I was losing like five to one, and I pulled it back, and I was this close to winning, but Bob lucked out with a destroying my base thing and won. How appropriate is Bob in this context? It <laughs> is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's your what name, young man? Bob. Bob. <laughs> Have it. Short for Kate. <laughs> That's the way around. Yeah. It's Kate. That's a bit of a funny name for a boy, isn't it? It's short for Bob. <laughs> Bob, eh? <laughs> well, Bob. I'll see you guys later. See you later. See you. Well, being in the Other Air Force, of course, Captain Flashyard. Flashyard, yeah. Ever know what it's like to have the wind between your hair? <laughs> he has. <laughs> he has, he has. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And now I've got the Chuckle Brothers with the uh, fucking Tingy Strider. <laughs> Chuckle. Brothers doing rap in my head. Oh no. I'm that. glad that we've cursed you with that, in all fairness. I'm glad we've witnessed cursed it. You. I haven't witnessed it, but I'm glad I've cursed you with remembering it. Don't <laughs> witness it. Because, of course, being the Chuckle Brothers. Oh yep. dear, oh dear. <laughs> to me. To you. To me. To you. <laughs> to me, then. To you. <laughs> to you. <laughs> To, you, to me. It says a lot about your childhood when you're carrying anything anywhere with someone else and it's all you say when you're moving Yeah, on. to me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the news article about the older Chuckle Brother that wasn't part of the fucking show that just got married to a fan that was like 20-something? And he's his, he's his 80s. There's a third one. <laughs> there is a third Chuckle Brother, yeah. Because they are actually real brothers. Yes. The, the Odyssey is, I'm as old as the Jackal Brothers act. Yeah. It's really worrying. Yeah. Yeah, shut up. I'm older. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> what have you guys been up to, anyway? Uh, we Multiplayer have silliness. We got Civilization to run with 12 people. Oh, that's then 11 people. And then 11. We only lost one. Um, still, it's still we technically impressive. lost two, but one came back. Um, and we got to turn 52. Yeah, that's not bad. And that was over the course of two and a bit hours. It was, I've got a whole hour of setup, which is probably the most hilarious hour of setup to anything ever. He had to tell sure. one, one viewers to for us failing to make Civ run. Yep, 20. We might have got to turn 70 if my computer hadn't have gone into complete meltdown and decided that Steam was the worst thing in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> and then Steam decided that he didn't exist. Yes. Did. I had no friends, and now I have one. <laughs> he doesn't exist, though. He doesn't exist. Oh, 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 in fact, when he did exist, because I managed to find him, he hadn't been online for 271 days. Ah, <laughs> oh, long period, then. Indeed. Apart from the fact that I was online then and had been for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Indeed. Because when we actually found the correct one... <laughs> <laughs> Although it took it five minutes to actually send the friend invite, it actually admitted that he'd played 300 and odd hours of Civ 5 and had played like 20 hours in the last week. <clears throat> Impressive. And I'm still shit at it. <laughs> but he'd, he'd also logged a couple of hundred hours of XCOM. And I mean the original XCOM. Oh, I love the original XCOM. Everyone loves the original XCOM. Um, yeah. Everyone loves the original XCOM. I like breaking it and playing as the aliens. Yes, we know. I, I have watched that one. That does look quite a laugh. It's really fiddly to set up, but it is amazing. I'm not too good with programming and things, so I'll probably leave that one. And just you don't need to program, no. It's just a tool. Uh, it's um, XCOM Utils. Um, yeah. It's just a tool in there. Once you know what you're doing and you know the procedure, it's fairly simple. But... It's just a matter of memorizing certain commands, which are basically like press yes, no, one, two, whatever, just to choose the right options. Oh. Uh, she'll it's, do a bit more research. It's not particularly. I think Shadow actually. I did a full it. show. Yeah. I did a show, full show video. The only thing I didn't show was um, actually putting the XCOM utils program in the right place. But that's, that's simple, enough. That simple enough and trial and error. You'll work that out. Again, I'll have a dig through your YouTube. 
Was it Unshadow Hearts explains that, or is it actually? I think just... it's in the explains folder, but it is in the XCOM folder as well. I have to dig that out. He made a whole channel that he was going to do a whole set of videos explaining yeah, I've done how. Two. And he's done three. Three in. Plus, how I didn't technically explain how. How to get... long, sir? How long? Four in <laughs> four in two years, I think. Four yes. actual videos. I'll see if I can double check that, but playlists. Well, XCOM got me through my last uh, Kandahar deck. I just played that almost solidly when I wasn't at work. It was brilliant. I have four Shadowhawk Explainer <laughs> videos, the second of which is the important one here. Good day. I think this... in the last two months I was away, I probably clocked up about 400 hours on it. <laughs> That's my getting um, the XCOM last, like, things to work. Or at least how to like, do multiplayer XCOM. Oh, wonderful. Oh. I shall have a dig. Have it's a fiddly and a lot of stuff doesn't work, but it's still amazing. <clears throat> Have a shufty. I really need to get Xenonauts. I really need to download that one because that looks an absolute I'm laugh. I'm not really playing it yet, but I do. Well, it's, it's basically just a modern take on. Yeah. Without it being the slightly weird. I think I would say is the overworld <clears throat> is much, much, much more difficult than the um, Grand Assault. I like the fact you've only actually logged 0.7 hours on the new XCOM. Oh, I, I downloaded that one when it was on the uh, freebie Steam weekend. Um, yeah, let's play the then I ended up, uh, the missus went in for hospital on her shoulder, so I've <laughs> hardly seen the computer for the last uh, couple of weeks. Oh, we have other people to provide um, conversation here. You don't need to wait for elevated music. Sorry, chat going on, background. I am still technically yeah. playing Mahjong here. Oh, are you still, do, do, do. I am. You're doing some streaming. Yes, have been for a while. <clears throat> well, it's, it's not Mahjong without elevated music, Shadow, come on. <laughs> I'm aware, but... <laughs> I'll possibly just... Random do to doos. It's always random do to doos. Do -do 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 -do. Well, you stopped do to doing for a while, actually. Yeah, I'll have to get back into it. Anyone around tomorrow? Quack. Of course, we're around tomorrow. It's it's. Paranoid. 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 Yeah. Oh, you know, we're around some today people, now. Some people end up being busy on weekends. Man, well, that's not my fault that you're a busy man, people. James. I agree. It sucks. Put three hours in Doom Two. Come on, sir. You're slacking. Oh, that's only because I downloaded it. I've got it um, still on one of my other computers, one of my old laptops, as the original. I think I've still got Windows 98 on one of those with uh, the original Doom on it and Doom 2. Doom! Doom! Yeah, I've played all of them through. Lad! I got halfway through Doom 3 and like I'm so I really need to get back to that. Ah, oh, you, 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 you've wished for Terror from the Deep. Oh, Terror from the Deep. Uh, I think I didn't Wish enjoy that when it first came out, but because uh... it's excruciatingly difficult. In fact, there's, oh, yeah. there's there's two reasons why you would really not like Terror from the Deep when it came out. Because one, there was a major fucking bug in the original XCOM <laughs> that the difficulty setting, no matter what you chose, after mission one, was always the minimum difficulty. However, they fixed that in XCOM: Terror from the Deep. Because the difficulty level, no matter what you chose in that one, was always the hardest difficulty. Yes. I'll tell you one thing. When I first played the um, PlayStation <coughs> 1 version of the XCOM um, Unknown, hmm. I was stunned at the difficulty because I set it to what I thought was difficulty free, which is what I normally played on. I was stunned at the increase in difficulty. And now it I know why. It shoots up. <laughs> because the difficulty isn't bugged on that, the um, PlayStation version. No, I've uh, completed both uh, UFO and uh, Terror from the Deep on second I will look to into Undertale. Uh, second to the highest, but yeah, Terror from the Deep. It's a uh, it is a slogathon in the first part, and then after that, it's just trying to keep people alive. <laughs> yep, pretty but much. That was the fun of Excom. Mm. But uh, yeah, once you've paid UFO and you think, oh, right, I've got the hang of this now, and you go to Terror from the Deep, it's it like, just oh, fuck what's you. happened? Yeah. <laughs> it's I, 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 the thing is, when I played through the first campaign, I knew never go into Ethereal missions. Never. Oh, Not God, ever. No. Except for once, because I did a Terror mission with mostly rookies against the Ethereal Terror just to show what happened. <laughs> I had <laughs> one survivor. Ethereals destroyed my crack team. I forgot well, Taze Offs well, were as well. bad as Ethereals. My, yes. my Ethereals all the time. Cast in YouTube. In fact, I think it's one of my most popular XCOM videos. <laughs> I was going to say, I think anyone who's played UFO knows that Ethereals are the, the, the terrors. And it's just like, you can't win. 
I had, I had, I had my best team, like like about f like fourteen soldiers. After a couple turns, they'd all shot each other to death, apart from one guy who <laughs> ran back onto the, the Skylar yeah. Ranger and like, oh god, get me the fuck out of here. Run like, away. A small team of four, three Ethereals can be dealt with, but you have to capture them that mission because you're not going to want to do a second mission. Oh god, no. <clears throat> you have to you capture them that first mission. Once you've got one alive and one I dead, did. that's yeah. it. Just run away whenever you land there. If you see them, get on board, go away. The worst yeah, thing is the, the is the Ethereal base away. assault. Because I just lost everyone. <laughs> it was too late in the game to fix this. I think the only way I've done the ethereal base assault is to have everyone loaded up with blast bombs and just annihilate the place, and then you yep, walk that, away. My usual base, my usual base defense strategy is blow everything up. I did yeah. it once when I had one guy left, or one guy over, was the only guy in the base because I sent my team off on a mission, and then they attacked. <laughs> oh god! So I had one guy and two fusion tanks versus an army of mutons. Find this moment of XCOM, actually. If you do the um, decent base design, you can just choke them and just keep pumping. Um, well, even with the choke, it's still not easy. But, yeah. yeah, because of course the fucking psionics can screw you virtually anywhere. Oh yeah. If they know you're there, which they invariably do. <laughs> the good thing with blast bombs is if you don't keep it loaded, and just keep one in hand to load when you're ready to fire, even if you get hold of them, you can just like slot them and mm. get on with it. But they do have yeah. a tendency to shoot them after a while. Yeah. But yeah, ethereals. I've I've had nightmares with those guys on on some levels. Oh dear. One thing I did with for the funsies on uh, one mission was um, I had a terror mission with floaters and um, reapers and whatever, and mm. I decided for a laugh to import twenty chrysalids onto the map. <laughs> this is the I'd, I'd missed out on a I'd missed out on a recording of my modern XCOM let's play so I decided to just do this for a laugh I had four guys armed with what I considered equivalent weapons and 20 yeah, chrysalids 20 chrysalids spawning in the middle of the map wait I remember that video <laughs> oh god that must have been carnage well not really I didn't, didn't really get to it but Aww. but I did enough to counter chrysalids and just hearing that sound that god darn sound yes <laughs> When you're on a terror map and you hear that noise, you're like, oh, no. <laughs> gribble, gribble. I mean, that's the, that's the thing yeah. about the next comic, except <clears throat> one mission, which I fi it's finally now happened, where Chrysalis have forced me off of a map, but they're the only enemy in XCOM that has ever done that. I mean, um, if you know it's an Imperial Terror mission, you just leave. Um, yes. But if it's a Chrysalis Terror mission, there might come a point where you get to the stage where you are absolutely screwed. <laughs> and it's the only, the only alien that can do it. Well, that's it. As, as soon as they've taken one of your guys, that's it. They've all they just keep doubling their numbers. And if mm. they, as, as terror missions, they hit the civvies as well. It's like, oh, they're just exponential explosions. I remember. I don't know. <laughs> this is probably when I was playing this quite early, but I remember going up against with um, against Chrysalis with normal pistols and rifles. Oh, I remember that one as well. <laughs> that was a giggle. That one. <laughs> then again, my biggest giggle is still, we have found a tomato. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Google auto transcribe is wonderful. It is wonderful. And the genesis of many of the weird things we say. <sighs> the evil Including moonbeams. <laughs> moonbeams, yes, that was that was a cyber beams. That was a cyber disc firing rapid shot. Yes. Yep. Moonbeams. <laughs> <laughs> moonbeams and mustards. A single shot was blue. Indeed. <laughs> if you shot a plasma rifle with a human, though it was. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> if you killed a sectoid, it was. The. Yes. No. I, oh, something else was yes. It was the. It was just the. The. <laughs> Who shot Gerald? You bastard. <laughs> the. Also, if you just listen to General's uh, the general commentary on Shadows. Uh, actual original XCOM LP, or that one in particular. Um, it makes him out to be a... <laughs> all all my good ears. Political madman. Yep. An extremely deviant sexual pervert. <laughs> rampantly <laughs> homosexual. Uh, <laughs> terribly interested in, in, in... Was it the Presbyterian Church? Almost certainly. Um, and, and horrifically, horrifically chauvinistic. Um, he he never it never once correctly transcribed 
even <laughs> as a gender, never mind the actual correct name, any female soldier, apart from one. One. And it managed to translate what he said as roughly following this. Bear in mind, it wasn't the right name. I think it was, was, it, was it Jessa and it translated to Jenna. Something like that. Jed, Jenna Jessa. It swapped it between. It was like, Jessa, out now, sandwiches. <laughs> Exactly. Get what in the kitchen like. and make me sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, well, the next line was even more brilliant because it was something like Gerald over the desk now. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, get out and make me sandwiches while I fuck this soldier. Secretly, I really pissed off somebody at Google a while back, and I have no <laughs> idea how or why. That he's rampantly homosexual and very chauvinistic to women. <laughs> Just beats his poor wife and sends something like sandwiches while he rapes the nearest soldier. <laughs> well, everyone needs a hobby. <laughs> yeah, it's something to do, and there's fun, you know, on the weekend. But <laughs> not necessarily in the middle of an assault on a battleship. Where I just lost most of my guys. Was. It was the right mission. I'm thinking of. Well, what? I think that was my four-man attack, my four-man battleship mission, or at least four survivor battleship mission. It, well, that was, was that was quality. That was. Yeah. But that, that was all the transcripts. Oh, we were we were breathless in parts. <laughs> I've watched a couple with the, the auto transcribe, and, and it is it's just hilarious, isn't it? Some of the things it will come out with are absolutely a lot of it's just nonsense. And, but then it'll it'll come out with something which clearly is nonsense, but makes enough sense to just be so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, 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 oh, certain things stick in the mind. Oh, Steam has finally allowed me to found Shadowhawk, so uh, I've sent a friend request. Yep, there I we go. He's getting greedy. Two friends? <laughs> Two I've friends. got three. He, he's desperate. He's yeah. desperate. He needs friends. I've got three now because Bird Two Jesus friends. friended me as well. He needs to vindicate his existence. <laughs> Bird Jesus. Yes, yeah, so I have Bird Jesus, Marijan, and uh, possibly soon Shadowhawk as well. Look at that. Three people. Yes. <laughs> You can really even join people. the Troubleshooters yes. group, although you have to yeah. talk to the people in charge of that. Have you ever been so popular? I think we are in charge, aren't we? Yeah, no, I'm the only sorry. one who's not in charge of the Troubleshooters group. Oh yeah, I thought you had delivery, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> I'm the lowest ranking member of the clear. paranoia group. <laughs> uh, yes, I shall have to... Uh, Purchase uh, Xenonauts at some point and have a smash through that. Cause that after watching your uh, LP, that was absolutely hilarious. That was. I actually didn't get around to finishing that. I watched some yeah, of it. I've somehow managed to cheat the ending, though I don't know how really I cheated the ending. Like, yeah, you hit that glitch where if you shoot the bat wall, uh, the the door, it just won't let you finish. I did that once, but also I did. I the one time I actually won. I also somehow cheated victory, because the, I was completely overrun. Completely by Reapers. I had no survivors, but apparently one of my guys was still unconscious and technically classified as being in the ending area. So she survived, <laughs> and I won. Well, considering you got cheated out of the first run through where you shot the uh, the bat wall, I think that was uh, pretty much uh, a little bit of justice there. <laughs> well, still, at some stage, I should really go and do that properly again. I'll beat you to it. You probably if will. If I can be bothered to, I'll edit some audio this weekend if I find you actually uploading. But I keep saying I should do, because I really should. Oh, Disaster Dylan's. Uh, all yeah, oh, so yeah, oh, many God, friends. No. I have another friend now. Yeah. Look at that. You have so many friends. I'm, I'm getting God. greedy now. Yeah. <laughs> Please, sir, could I have some more friends? No. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Uh, Paranoia is not going to be streamed, but I'm going to be uploading some more of it um, around December. I don't know about the social thing. It seems, it seems so dangerous. weird to me. So weird. <laughs> Deviated preverts. <laughs> well, it's on a computer, so I, I don't have to do face-to-face. -face, so I'll be all right. I'll just pretend they're like the normal renter friends I have. It's Red to Friend. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing Red to Friend! Hooray! Do you lack social comfort? <laughs> no, not really. 
No, no, I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> I'm quite, quite, quite happy living in the pale, worthy glow of the monitor. <laughs> that one, like, get it off me, get it off me. Ah, um, natural light. <laughs> I genuinely do feel like that some days, though, because when I'm knackered, I tend to get very photosensitive. <laughs> so I walk out and go, ah! <laughs> when I used to work on um, the primary team, we uh, we did um, maintenance on the Herx, like 10,000 miles servicing on your car. And in the winter, we used to go into the hangar in the morning Hi-yo. when it was dark and then leave after the sun had set. And we wouldn't see uh, the sun for about three months. We became mole people. <laughs> I am a mole person naturally. The only reason I'm not a mole person is because my freaking job makes me not be. <laughs> no, have you have to be people. awake at seven in the morning. Nobody oh. should be alive then. <laughs> there really shouldn't be a seven in the AM. That's just wrong. It's wrong. They just need to paint the, the clock. seven AM should ever exist is when they you paint that bit of the clock. Fine. 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 Didn't exist. Nope. You're imagining it. I really should play some more Zomboid, actually. I keep forgetting I've Zomboid, got that game. Yeah. Yes, we, we, we probably should play more Zomboid. The last time I yeah, played it I was the time we got... that recently. But Artemis next. Hmm. We got Connor <laughs> locked in a gun saw once. I don't know how he yeah. managed it, either. Well, he glitched through the thing. Yeah, but he glitched through to try and work out how to get there. And we spent ages trying to work out how he was supposed to actually break into the gun store so that he could get out. That was, was... another game that I downloaded after watching uh, one of Shadow's streams, because it just looked hilarious. Somebody, somebody was great. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that got me through some of my uh, promotion courses where he just sat there getting bored to death for about yeah. three weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling, although on short terms, because I get the excuse of like if I'm in charge, I don't care, <laughs> go away. <laughs> I'll put up with it for one day. Yeah. No <laughs> Oh, I had to and run around a field for two weeks because somehow that tells me how I can lead people. Oh, I don't know. Oh. We did build tripods out of pine poles and use ropes. It was very instructive. Yes. <laughs> this is a stick. It's long and straight and you can hit people with it. Yes. Build a tripod to get over the shark infested custard. Yeah, thank you. I'm not at school still. <laughs> it's, it's custard. Just run. You yes. won't sink. As long as you it don't stop. Improved. Yeah, if you run fast enough to slam your feet on hard enough, you can't sink. No, you have to slam all that hard, depending on things, but... Well, the force of running is enough, usually, for most adult males. Mm. When, the thing is, uh, being a techie surrounded by loads of non-techies, they don't understand when you start going on about non-Newtonian fluids and things like that. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> Just fucking run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's leadership. That's your leadership skills, you yeah. see. Just Stop asking questions, run. it's a fucking hard to go. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> questions, just fucking run. The only thing you should say is, sir, yes, sir, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and when you sink, I'm going to tell you you did it wrong. Well, if they sink... If, if they, they sink, they're the pretty bottom, stuck, actually. Yeah. It, they become no, a actually, stuck, no, then. it's... A, you, um, you can swim through custard as easily as you can swim through water, because although the resistance of the custard is higher, um, when you actually... Uh, use the strokes, the force that you're exerting is also higher. Oh, so, reaction. yeah, so basically you, you can actually swim just as well through custard, although it is more tiring. But you, a run on it! That's, yes. Well, well, let me tell you, that was the discussion five minutes ago. It was. Huzzah! Finger, pulse, wonderful. <laughs> He's alive! He's a scouser, he put the medical equipment up on bricks. Bring the machine that goes beep. <laughs> uh, it's got wheels. <laughs> none of none of my bricks go beep. Uh, it's not a fancy it's hospital. Most expensive then. machine because the director's in the hospital. Twenty-second <laughs> century scouser. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. A little brick that goes beep. We'll be sinking into custard later, sir. Later. I love my brick. <laughs> we love your brick too. <laughs> and the you brick loves love you. Come by, harvester. <laughs> I got a brand new combine harvester. I and I'll give you the key. Bum, bum, bum. I got I 30 acres. Got you got 40. <laughs> I got a brand new combine harvester. I'll give you the key. I've seen them the, twice. The, um, the audio stylings of the troubleshooters. <laughs> They're utterly what? Hilarious. The Wurzels live are utterly awesome. Yeah. Those boys can drink. 
They're you know what? You know what's funny? But it's though? cider. They're, oh, they're, yeah. they're official video for that song. What? Hiya. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I, I exist again. Ah. Sorry, I it's always happy to hear you exist. Yes. <laughs> Occasionally I pop out into another uh, podcast. I died again. That's normal. This Carry on. This is you to Azalea. Now you're deceiving me. Come in, Moscow. Hello, Moscow. <laughs> Did you in fact put the plane up on bricks again? Yes. <laughs> had tires I couldn't resist. I've just got this. Yeah, she's just got this uh, vision of a herc up on stick on bricks now. <laughs> The crew so, coming there. It's, What's it's something to do next time you need to organise a base prank, innit? Yeah. What happened? Well, we've got a scouser on squadron, so, you know, it, you, they just can't help themselves. <laughs> Where's the radio gun? <laughs> well... <laughs> yeah, go down the local pub, you'll probably find someone hocking it for their antenna. <laughs> Can you imagine that conversation? Here, do you want to buy some fucking military radio equipment? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm fairly sure they're not going to like that. <laughs> Why don't you ask the nice men with some machine guns outside the window? Yes. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Make it a fiver. <laughs> yes. Eem, do you want to buy a radio for a fiver, mate? <laughs> <laughs> The highest wrong, pitch scouse voice ever. Anyway, guys, I'm tired. Yeah, no, cool we tonight. fucking know the feeling, James. Huh? <laughs> oh, I said we fucking know the feeling. We're all knackered. Yeah, this, this, is, this is how tired I have to be to play Mahjong half the time. Except when I'm at work, in which case I'm already that tired, so I might as well play Mahjong. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll That's talk pretty... to you all tomorrow anyway. It's the dull, the pain. <laughs> pretty and bad. I'll just lose the whole thing. I'll just do it by knackedness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except I don't have any booze in my system right now, so it's... Just painful. Yes, come, come round here. I have port. It's awesome. Port. Oh, I have port. Some, I had some port. Yes. Well, he is a diary. Have James. He's, <coughs> no, these fucking yes. military. Later on, I'll have some starboard. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nautical jokes. <laughs> From a fucking air force member. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys. See you later. Bye -bye. See ya. Seem to have a severe case of boat up in your aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna finish this game and then head off myself. The truth is, he just likes to play pretend while he's in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> nothing yes, wrong. Nothing, nothing. I'm wrong sure with he's that. there with the rubber ducky. <laughs> it's when you start playing with the periscope. That's when you got when you get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the public bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found an airplane up on bricks. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I fucked up the link. Well done. <laughs> this is the actual oh, link. GO2. Oh, incompetent. Very competent. <laughs> What's your face? Yeah, that's why you don't do an engine run on the loose leaf uh, bricks, because it uh, does end up trashing the back end of the aircraft. It's hilarious. <laughs> Not enough. Oh, well. I found a bunch of airplanes up on bricks. Third place, third place, and third place. I think I'll call that a night there. <laughs> Baby tie airplane Lego promotion. Yes, okay. <laughs> it's up on bricks. <laughs>